Oh, that's the iconic hit song from the musical Annie. The Tony Award winning production is kicking off its national tour right here at the Dolby Theater tonight. And one of the stars is here. We are talking about Addison, who plays the role of the lovable dog Sandy. Here's Addison. And of course, we have to mention William Berloni, who is one of the top animal trainers in the business, who, who trained Addison and I just learned was part of the original training cast. Yes, um, I was 19 years old when I worked at the theater where Annie was originally produced and found mm -hmm. the original Sandy in a shelter. Wow, and, and every Sandy is a shelter rescue dog? Yes, um, I think I'm up to like 28 wow. Sandys over the last 45 years. And all the dogs, whatever show we work on, are rescues. How tough is it to, I mean, you, you want the dog to look the part, right. but really needs to be able to act the part. And, I mean, can you train any dog? No, you can't. Okay. I mean, just like humans, you have to have a, a propensity to do that job. Mm -hmm. You know, and the idea that you can train any dog to do anything is just incorrect. But, so we look with dogs, <laughs> we look for dogs who are smart, food motivated, friendly, because uh -huh. we're around people so much, and, you know, and can deal with stress. You know, oh. some dogs want to sit home and be on the couch. Dogs like Addison want to go out and get cookies and meet people. Yeah. Okay, this might sound silly, but mm -hmm. her name is Addison. Yes. But on stage, she's called Sandy, so you have to train her with a different name? It almost seems like it would be easier just to name her Sandy and always call her Sandy, but. <laughs> we were talking about this. The original Sandy was named Sandy. Okay. And they're trained to listen to you. So every time he'd come out on stage and the kids in the audience would go, look, there's Sandy, it would distract him. He'd look in the audience. Oh. So I learned then not to train them their name, but they, they work with hand signals, they work with um, all sorts of other sort of cues that the audience is unaware of. Wow, now have you, have you often had dogs that just look great but just couldn't do the part, just sure. couldn't do it? I mean, part of the, the, the thing is we rescue them, we obviously make them healthy, but we also temperament test them to make sure they're gonna enjoy this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I'm not always right, and sometimes we just, you know, we find them a good home after that. But um, most of the time we're pretty good at, whether it's Toto for The Wizard of Oz or Bruiser for Legally Blonde, we're pretty mm -hmm. good at picking the, the winners. And, you know, I was thinking that you used more than one dog for each play. Kind of like when we think about children, they can only work so long, but the dogs can work, they, they are good, part, only one is necessary. Yeah, I mean, part of the thing is, in a lot, as opposed to film, we have mm -hmm. to get it right once. Mm -hmm. I have to train a dog to do it eight times a week, yeah. flawlessly in front of a live audience. So you have to create it so it's fun for the dog and they mm -hmm. want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and once you set that bond up between whether the actor, in this case, you know, Ellie Percifer, who's a great, a great <laughs> talent as Annie, it's a bond and they're a team, so you can't just switch them in and out like that. Oh, so sweet. Well, I appreciate getting to meet you and especially Addison, who I might yeah. want to keep. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Again, the national tour of Annie kicks off tonight at the Dolby Theater. The show runs through December 18th. And of course, you can find more information about Annie at the Dolby Theater by going to our website, kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV.